Hey YouTubers, I'm arriving here at Mission San Juan in San Antonio, Texas. Go and park. Take the tour. Hey, what's up, Fantastic Bill fans? Here in San Antonio, Texas, I'm over at Mission San Juan. It's one of the five missions in the San Antonio, Texas area. I've already done tours of Mission San Jose. That was the first one I did. Then I did Mission Concepcion, Mission Espada, and now I'm at Mission San Juan. The last one after that is Mission Berja, which is uh, also known as Alamo. But I'm at Mission San Juan now. It's a World Heritage Site, UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a nice day today. It's been uh, raining for the past week, uh, been cool and stuff like that. So I'm at the, one of the San Antonio missions. Again, I mentioned the ones I've already been to. San Jose was the one I started with, then I did Concepcion. And then a spotter down here. And then now I'm at Mission San Juan. And they all got QR codes, which is kind of cool now. Everyone's got phones. And you can take the audio tour if you want. Um, we'll go and walk inside and check her out. A little different design as far as layout than some of the other ones. Got the different color. All these get connected. Uh, there's a bike trail, walking trail that you could use to come to all these missions. It's upkeep. See it's leaning over. As far as temperature wise, it's in almost the last week of January and it's uh, supposed to be 66 today. It's pretty good with the temperatures. Walk in here. The back side. Like the other missions, they uh, they all still have churches, um, active churches, active parish, parish office there, still being used. You can see the layout of this one, pretty much the other walls, the other buildings over there. The markers there. Ten, nine. Huh. 
So she's different, her facade's different. You can see it from the other missions I've been to and then if you go online and look at the missions, they all have different facades. Each uh, mission has its own uh, facade, its front entrance. Um, it's got museum makers, church entrance, and then uh, restroom and water area over there. Before I go inside, let me go take a walk around this back side. See what this side looks like. All right. So this is the other side. There you got the bells there, the campanas. Got three of them. It's a little bit narrower than the other ones. It's bigger than Espada. Espada was a smaller one as far as the layout. So I'll go in the church entrance real quick. And then we'll do the rest of the walk around. I took off my hat. The statue of San Juan Capistrano located in the middle above the high altar is a gift from the nation of Hungary. October 2022. Can't see this, but Franciscan missionaries from the Apostle caught the just Santa Ana Cruz de Querétaro in 1760 found its son. Jose de los Naciones in the Pine Forest of East Texas 15 years later. With adequate military protection, they moved the mission to the east bank of the Rio San Antonio to avoid possible confusion with another establishment of vicinity. The Franciscans in 1739 renamed it the Transferred Mission San Juan Capistrano because there was already the mission San Jose here. Um, it's locked here so you can't go to the actual altar there anymore. Um, there's a story behind that and I'll tell you here shortly why. Um, but this is one of the only missions you can't go to the altar. So sometime in, uh, August 2020, which is kind of sad, but it still happens. Uh, apparently between midnight and dawn in August, 2020, these broke into this 300 year old mission, San Juan Capistrano, and stole the three hand carved 18th century statues from the church's altar, which are those three that have been donated to replace them. Including the one in the center, which is dated into 1730, which they dated to 1731. So the statues that were made in 1731 were stolen from this 300 year old mission, which is kind of horrible. But that's a little bit of the backstory. And that's why you see that um, the country of Hungary donated as a gift the statue of San Juan Capistrano. So those are now in 2022 were donated by 
the country of Hungary, the nation of Hungary. Again, the three originals from 1731 were stolen. And that's why you see the gate locked and we can't make it up to the altar. It's kind of sad. We'll continue the tour. Put my cachucha back on. In the facade with the three bells there. The other side here, which is the ultra side. Hello, welcome. The museum here. Got the layout and pictures here. Again, when you visit the, you have your English translation and then your Spanish here. Camino Real and you could actually drive the link for that if you went all the way into Mexico from Eagle Pass it goes up to Natchitoches up in Louisiana and the current roads that kind of bypass it US 57 Interstate 35 um, I think State Highway 21 Antonio River. It's a little interactive here also. It'll light up where you're at. Have a good day. You too. Yep. Yeah, the park ranger in there was saying that all the missions have suffered at one point where their artifacts or their their artifacts have been taken at one time or another before I go down there all the missions have this layout these bronze layouts um, it says where I'm here currently 
and then you can see where the dog is over there that's where the entrance was and then the church there it's got a woodlands trail post-colonial house indian quarters the san antonio river is on the back side here so when i went outside over here to look on this back side so over there in those woods is the san antonio rivers down the hill so again i'm right here in this area the entrance is over there so they all have their own little layouts and i'll continue the journey and i'll go over here do the whole area let me go out here real quick on the old entrances Mission to enter. This was the main entrance according to this. All travelers come into Mission San Juan were formerly received by received here by a portero who closely marched his main gate. Pack trains haul cargo in the Camino Real some 15 days north from Coahuila in Mexico or two weeks east from Louisiana. So two weeks to the end of the road in Louisiana or 15 days which is two weeks anyway uh, from Coahuila. Hmm. And then again, like I said, inside, they'll have the translations in Spanish. But they have flyers also. Um, and that trail over there will take you down to the river. You can walk along the river. But all the, all these missions have flyers also in other languages. I remember last time, um, Concepcion, they had flyers there in Chinese, Japanese, Greek, French. this one into restrooms this section again like the little bronze layout here's a a better view what it looked like there's church the little portero entrance over there there was a long building here which in the grass you could see the foundations and then over here where I'm gonna walk over here this says they were gonna have a third church belong to a 10-year effort to build a much grander new church and sacristy for San Juan. Dwindling numbers of Indian workers brought construction to a halt in the 1780s, leaving these buildings as you see it now. So they pretty much left it in the unfinished state. They had actually Indian homes different than uh, the other ones. The sides they would put the Indian homes inside the the long road barracks. 
So this was going to be the layout of a bigger church. They called it the third church. Holy ground. Here is Sagrada. This site is a bear. This is a site of a burial ground beginning about 1780. The remains of indigenous people and other local inhabitants were interred in this church that was never completed. These were removed during an archaeological investigation in 1967. They were reinterred in 1999 in a joint ceremony conducted by Archdiocese of San Antonio and descendants of the original people. Please respect the final resting place of those who built the mission. As you see it's locked off so people are interned in there of the commerce they have prices of some of the stuff on a mule train from 1797 a document here 48 rosaries 48 rosaries the price of each nine dollars wow Franciscan robes were expensive I want Two hooded Franciscan robes, the price of each $699. 100 pounds of fine chocolate, the price per round or per pound $28. Wow. So, if you do 100 pounds, is 45 kilograms. Chocolate fino, el precio de cada kilo. $62. Mm. Dos hábitos con capitela, el precio de cada uno, $699. Wow. So there again, another view of the facade with the three bells. Going around the habitated area where people still live is the parish, the parish hall there. Again, it must be just because it's cool and it's like lunchtime almost. There's really not a lot of visitors to this one. So over there is another entrance we used to be here. Just did a walk around the San Juan. Again, one more view. What we did. The Stinson Airport's near here for smaller planes. The Stinson Airport's got some history behind it too. And get to my truck and then uh, we'll call this one for today
This was a fantastic video. I just uh, finished the walking tour of the San Juan mission here in San Antonio. You see it in the background. So Mission San Juan. I've done uh, San Jose, Concepcion, Espada, and I just finished here with San Juan. There's one more left to do. I'll probably do that later on down the road. Um, but if you like this video of the mission tours, go and like, share, subscribe. Have a good day. Adios.